This Lava Loon deck is one of the best decks in all of Clash Royale, and it is definitely going to help you succeed if you try it out this season. This deck has strong synergy and has very powerful cards. The Evo Knight is the best card in Clash Royale. The Balloon pairs very well with the Snowball. The Inferno Dragon is a defensive unit. The Minions are powerful on offense and defense, and they provide arrow bait along with the Lava Pups and the Bomber. Overall, very powerful deck, and I highly recommend checking it out. So this deck is way, way, way more offensive than Classic Lava Loon. I know lots of you guys are Classic Lava Loon players, um, but still I recommend trying this deck out. If you don't have success with it, you don't have success with it. You can just keep playing Classic Lava. Classic Lava is definitely not bad, but you've got to be way more offensive with this deck, willing to tank more damage, and uh, Lava first play is okay. Uh, starting handing people to death is okay. Um, he messes up his minions there. I'm actually going to go hit him with the snowball just so we can try and kill these minions and get uh, extra balloon shot. No, sadly, we don't get the extra balloon shot, but we're still going to go up in damage, and we could fireball this queen if he puts anything else down. So yeah, you're just going to want to be way more offensive, take more damage. It is okay. We're going to go ahead and fireball this. Not the greatest trade, but it's okay. I'm not too worried about it because... I would rather not waste, I guess, anything. Since I don't know what he's playing yet, I'd rather not waste uh, a knight or a bomber or anything else there, I think. Um, fireball's just safe, clean it up, and we'll see what he's playing. So I'm not going to go Lava in the back here just because I don't have the Knight in cycle. I feel like we need the Knight if we're going to be able to do anything um, because it's just... It's just difficult to deal with knights or to deal with opposing ground units when you don't have knight, especially since there's no building in this deck. So we're just going to hit him with this, use the minions, and I believe we can also just... I'll fireball instead here because I need to save my knight for his dark prince. So we're going to take a ton of damage here, but the goal is not to lose the tower. So there's going to be a lot of bend, don't break kind of stuff here. I'm going to be forced to knight, sadly. Uh, I'd rather have not done that because now we can just dark prince in the right lane he's gonna minor instead which is very intriguing i'm just gonna snowball everything back make sure we can wrap it all up and just go ahead and sack that dark prince because sadly i have nothing to defend it that's the tough part with this deck defense is really lackluster so we're gonna need to spend a lot of effort on offense in double elixir um, even if it means going into like a two, uh, two tower situation, or I guess a three tower situation, is that what you'd call it? Bad minions there. I don't like those minions. We're actually going to go ahead and use the, um, this as well. Snowball here is rage. We're just going to go with the knight as well. And then I believe we should be able to take out this tower in a second because I don't think he has any counters for the evolved knight. And then maybe we can go with the fireball on his minions because he has to play minions here. And we're going to go ahead and I think maybe wait for the tower to target the knight. And then we're going to go with our own minions here. And so we should be keep getting a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. The minions kind of putting in work over there on the right lane, which is nice. But I don't think... Um, I don't think we're going to be able to go for the right lane. I kind of think I have to play in the same lane as him. So we're actually going to go, I think, with a knight just to protect this berry here. And then we'll snowball as well. He wants to take out the berry because the berry is going to deal a ton of damage to him. So we're going to go minions up here. I don't know if he has a reset card. He has fireball, but he doesn't really have a designated reset card for the inferno dragon so we're gonna have to keep that in mind gonna have to save enough elixir as well to be able to deal with his like barbs in the pocket kind of spam stuff um let's see so yeah he does go with that we're gonna go berry like this i'm gonna go knight up here and i think i could just snowball these guys off and maybe that i should have snowballed on that queen but i think we got enough damage on offense for the moment um so we're gonna go ahead and Oh, I don't know if I want to fireball that, though. I don't know if we're going to be able to take that out. That's my problem. I don't know if we're going to be... Okay, now we can fireball it. Because uh, I didn't think it was going to die to a fireball. That's why I did that. Um, he's probably going to go barbs, gob giant in the pocket or something like that. Uh, we're going to go minions. He does go barbs, gob giant. Oh my god, I need to sneeze. I need to sneeze. I need to sneeze. I need to sneeze really bad. I need to sneeze. I kind of just fireballed because I thought the barbs were going to hit that. But we should be able to do this and then this and then this. And win. Oh, why did it not go to the berry? It should have gone to the berry. We need to fireball it. Oh my god. Okay. I think we're good. So I played kind of sloppy, but um, it wouldn't have been that close if we had just successfully pulled the Dark Prince up with the berry. Um, just a slight misplay for me, but still we played that match pretty well. So GG's. 
Thunder Fiore, and uh, we're going to be facing this guy a lot, I think. He's always around my trophy range. I kind of always have him in videos for some reason. It's not planned. I don't try to put this guy in the videos. He just ends up in the videos all the time, so it's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, let's see. He's going to go Hoggies. This is what we brought the Berry for. The Berry's really good at wrapping up things like this. We only need to spend two Elixir on defense, and uh, although we take a lot of damage, um, that's okay with this type of deck. So we're going to go with the Balloon, and we're going to have the Snowball um, for our spell if we need to snowball anything here he might have fireball if he uses a spell i will go minions i also have my eye on the snowball we could knock this out of the way i think um yeah oh he comes back to the balloon but i think we did a good enough job because we are going to take tower here so nice um let's see what we can do about this i'm probably gonna have to knight up here gonna be very smart with what i do next i think we're gonna have to go minions and then bury down here and he's gonna heal spirit which is okay with me um because he's not gonna get a like tower down with that arrows like he gets a lot of damage i think he doesn't get tower here so this is really helpful for us so um the fact that we still have the tower alive even if it's at 171 hp it's kind of big because he's got to commit to taking that tower um with either hogs or something i'm not quite gonna go lava here because he could go hogs and then just like I'd have to fireball, so I really don't want to do that. So yeah, he does commit. It goes with just one hoggy over there. I'm actually going to snowball this hoggy. I think that prevents it from taking tower. So yeah, was it worth it? I don't know. We'll find out. But I won't like be needing the snowball until I go back um, into my lava push. And I'm not ready to go lava again yet. So we're going to have to go knight over here. He is going to finally take out this tower uh, on the, the left. But he did have to commit to it. So we're going a bomber over here and that should help us deal with these recruits even though they're going to start charging uh they do they one tap the berry there it didn't look like they did um i think this is going to be fine low key i might have to like go fireball on hogs and we'd have to cycle back which is really annoying but uh, I think that's going to be necessary. So I'd rather save it for offense, obviously, but uh, we didn't really have much of a choice there. So I'm going to go go probably minions, snowball, inferno dragon there. And we take out the flying machine, which is the first big step. And now I think we need to go knight in the pocket and then fireball this flying machine. I think that's the go-to play there. He's probably going to cycle back to another arrows, but that's fine with me. Uh, fireball. Oh, yes. Fireball and arrows. Okay. I forgot about that. Um, we're going to have to cycle a berry here. Um, just get ready with the berry snowball maybe to deal with his hoggies. Got to be ready to deal with hoggies. Got to be ready to deal with recruits as well. Um, we've got night snowball if I really need to. Ooh, good snowball. Really good snowball value here. Um, we're going to take about 500 damage, I think, which is acceptable. And then we're going to go minions on top of a goblin cage here. And we're going to hit the goblin cage. And then I'm going to need to probably fireball this. I'd rather fireball drags, but he's going to use a spell instead of using drags. So I don't need to wait for drags. So we get a big hit there and that should seal it. Um, the lava pups. Oh, 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 they deal the job. Good job. Lava Pups. Let's go. So good W against a uh, weird recruits deck, but recruits is popular in the meta. So that's how you guys beat recruits. Facing off against Hakeem, who I believe is a lava classic player. He could be playing any lava variant, though. I just know that he is a lava player. This matchup, if you play it right, does have matchup against a lot of lava decks, if not all lava decks. Um, it's very, very effective. So we're going to be able to just fireball that back. Gives us a good game. Not quite sure what that's about, but uh, maybe he's just being cocky. I don't know. We're going to fireball here and we are going to take one hit. There's an interaction. You can time it right so that you like you fireball basically and then i think it like does its animation but at the same time it like gets knocked back so the balloon doesn't get a hit it's really weird i'm not quite sure how it works but uh it's definitely hard to do so that's why we weren't successful there unfortunately gonna have to follow up with the minions as well um and sadly both the skeletons read target onto it which is really really stinking annoying but it's okay and i whiffed a fireball so that's uh, that's how you guys don't play this matchup um i probably shouldn't have gone with minions there because minions kind of get me killed i didn't know both the skelly drags were going to retarget they never do that when i'm playing them so i didn't i didn't know that was going to happen but the good thing is we can take tower pretty easily i think if we just start up a good lava push and then maybe use lava loon plus berry plus snowball um the good thing is he doesn't have any of his offensive cards in cycle right now so he can't really do anything about this i also think we could go inferno on offense 
and then maybe use um, like a berry. Um, so he expects, I think he expected us to go with maybe the balloon there. Um, so instead, we're just going to go balloon now. He doesn't have his thing a majigger in cycle. What am I trying to say? Tombstone. He doesn't have his tombstone in cycle. We're going to knight up here, distract the skeleton dragon, drag back these barbs. And just like that, we're right back in this game. So um, although we played pretty crappily at the start, lava matchups are a mess. And you should be able to recover from being down a little bit. I'm actually going to apply more pressure with this inferno dragon. may not seem like the best play, but look at what we did over there with that... Um, oh, I'm actually going to go like this here and uh, take out these skeleton dragons. We applied extra pressure there and forced out a fireball as well. And see, this is just applying extra pressure, which is nice. It's not like crazy or anything, but we're applying the extra pressure and now we have a pretty good hand as well. So let's see what lane he's going to go in. Looks like he would pretty obviously go for the left lane here. We're just going to go with probably a lava in front. We want to protect the inferno dragon at all costs and he could go with a what is he going to try and protect this he does not try and protect it so we're going to go evolve knight up here oh that's unfortunate that is way 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 unfortunate we're going to go fireball probably on those take out this lava with our inferno and use the other inferno to take out his mega minion and then just snowball here so he doesn't get extra damage i get bro my my spells are horrible this game i really need to do better I really need to do better. They are horrible spells. We're going to go knight up here. Minions as well to finish off these drags. And hmm, he's going to go like that again with the tombstone. So I might even think about just starting up a lava in this lane. Um, we're going to go lava here. I think that's a good play. And then we're just going to get a really nice fireball here. And I've got berry for barbs. I don't know if he's back to evo barbs. I haven't really been keeping track, unfortunately. Berry. And we can hit him with a snowball real fast. Hit him with the knight as well to keep this berry alive. And then I believe we are fine. We could just deal with that. Um, business decision tanking that damage. Business decision. I don't know if it's going to work, but I have to pray that it's going to work. Um, because we have to like bank on getting a bunch of damage on offense here. So we can go berry as well. We got a balloon hit. He's going to be forced to fireball. The berry is going to lock onto the tower. Gets two nice hits plus the inferno as well. We're going to go minions and we're going to giant snowball. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, he is back to Evo barbs. Um, we're probably going to set up for our defense here. I don't. I can't really keep up pressure from the spot I'm in. Um, we're going to have to go berry and then knight and then maybe minions plus snowball he misses his oh that's really good for us we're gonna have to go in he gets death bomb though i think that's gonna be good game he got death bomb unfortunately we're gonna have fireball maybe barry here can get a shot on the tower that would be insane barry 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 oh dude he just didn't do enough damage that is so unlucky unfortunate that we lost that last matchup but i'm i'm really rusty with this deck i don't play it too much i don't want to make excuses i'm not the type of guy to make excuses but it's just um we came very close to winning that matchup and i played horribly so that goes to show you that if uh that if, if that's how bad i was playing and i still came that close to winning this is definitely a very powerful deck so um that's real unfortunate though, man. We were we were inches away from taking that dub, man. Um, and he sacks a lot of Inferno Dragon Dam. Oh, he's playing Lava. Wow, I didn't expect that. I didn't know he was playing Lava. Um, game Over is notorious for being a, I guess, I think it's E Golem, right, guys? He's notorious for being E Golem. So kind of weird there. We're going to just go with the Inferno Dragon as well, plus the Knight. And we should be, I guess he could Zap quite know what he's gonna do he does zap we just minions and snowball here he does have arrows but it's okay because arrows can't reset the inferno dragon so overall i'll take that we're gonna take a little damage from these lava pups probably because the inferno dragon is low health so he won't be distracting for long but hey pretty good situation i think there the snowball is such a good card bro snowball is so good and it feels good to be on the delivering end of these snowballs for once because i'm always the one that's getting dominated by <laughs> dominated by snowball and it's like my balloon's about to get hits and then he snowballs and it feels nice to be the one doing that so we're going to probably oh i don't have snowball i guess for this so this isn't amazing for me i'm probably just going to follow up with the knight maybe and then go inferno and then maybe fireball depending on what he does here. Um, actually, yes, I'm going to fireball these. Just so our knight can get a little damage there. Um, we're pre 
pretty much like I'm trying to pretend that we we haven't taken the left tower and it's just like a one on one with the right tower because like if you think about it, I don't have to think about oh he's probably gonna predict the berry. Can we keep the berry alive? Thank you. Um, no berry, you idiot! What are you doing? I'm going to arrow these. I don't want to overcommit with the fireball, though. Okay, so yeah, basically, I was just saying that, like, we were even on the right tower, so that's a good spot to be in. We weren't in a bad position at all. So I'm going to lava here just solely for the fact that I want to keep this Inferno Dragon alive so he can feast on defense. We're just going to use the Snowball to push this back. I'm going to use a Knight here. And the tower is actually targeting the balloon. I have no idea how that happened, but I am all for it. Uh, so we're going to go minions as well here. I guess I could have timed my fireball better, but as you can see, we're still like we're, we're trading damage with him so even if we won the game here but even if he was to uh end up like taking this tower we're pretty much going band for band damage wise on his tower so i'm okay with losing a tower because all i have to do is get 800 damage so yeah i said it was very powerful against lava decks and uh sadly i lost the last one but we made up for it with this game Facing Alonzo here, Lava first play is a good first play with this deck, so we're going to be trying it out. Um, Alonzo has an Ice Spirit, that scares me, Ice Spirit is never good, so that does scare me. I don't believe we need to respond to this Hog here, I think it would be better to save all of my resources for offense here, let's see. Um, I'm going to be using probably the Balloon, and of course he has an Executioner, yeah, this is probably going to be game, unfortunately guys, uh, Executioner is one of the worst matchups in the game, so I think that's going to be it for this game i know it sounds negative but i don't think there's any way to win this matchup when when we're facing against executioner and when the executioner is on the not on the not on the lava for some reason it's on the balloon so um ice spirit is the most broken card in the game i will continue to say it um ice spirit is so so unbelievably good and it looks like we're gonna get a little tickle from the inferno dragon there oh heat up heat up baby heat up okay 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 inferno dragon i was not expecting that level of of Really, minions are going to give him two hits there. Okay. I'm not going to call the game over because I don't know how we'd fare in a two tower situation, especially when I don't have anything to counter a hog, but I'm all for it now. Please don't do this to me. Please, I don't do this to me when I have a chance, man. Please. Please, I do not want to get lag spiked right now. Okay, so we should be able to come up with 700 damage, whether it's uh, having to fireball a bomb tower or whatever we have to do. I wonder if we're going to see an Xe. We do. I'm actually just going to send an Inferno Dragon down the middle here. I can snowball maybe to get something in the same lane. I don't think that's going to happen. So we're just going to knight here. The Inferno shouldn't chase it. Um, okay, he doesn't chase it. And we managed to get the chip damage that I needed. So that's good there. And uh, I think we can go... Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna go like this. We're gonna try and take out that uh, Executioner, hopefully. Sadly, we don't take out the Executioner, but hopefully we can get some damage here on the right lane. Ice Spirit is gonna bail him out, though. Ice Spirit's the most broken card in the game, so uh, we're only gonna be able to get Death Bomb here. But hey, we get a couple of minion shots as well. That's good. Snowball coming in for this, uh, and we're gonna use the Evolve Knight as well. I really didn't want to take any extra damage, because I feel like that was a maybe a waste of my Evolve Knight, but at the same time, I feel like I can't take damage in this matchup. Like, it's a chip damage battle. I just can't take that matchup. Bad tornado. Bad tornado from the opponent. And we're going to go Lava Hound here. And we should be able to just... Oh, I didn't mean to put it there. I did not mean to do that. That was supposed to be down low. So I really apologize for that. That was not my intention with that at all. Um, we are going to take no hog hits, though. So that's definitely a W. I think I'm going to go with the fireball and maybe just a balloon like here. He might lightning. I know he has lightning, I think, because he hasn't played rocket yet. I don't know what he could do here. We're going to bury. He does lightning. Okay. So we're going to be able to. Is that death bomb? That would be hu pretty huge if it's death bomb. It is. So we're going to go probably inferno dragon like this. I'm going to start up a knight in the back as well. We got to be careful about him executionering, I guess, to like get chip damage from the bridge, but we didn't have to worry about it there. I've also got minion snowball in case he rushes the pocket, so I'm not too worried about this. We're going to time the snowball to hit him both, and we should be only taking one hog rider hit and no knight hits. That's good. We're going to use the inferno dragon here to take out this executioner, and... Um, he's probably going to put that... Ooh, interesting spot for the Executioner, if I do say so myself. We're going to use a Knight down here, Bomber down here, and we're going to be... I think we have to Fireball this. 
just we have to take out this uh, this hog rider barry does a good job on the oh no i timed that really poorly i did time that really poorly but um it's gonna come down to the wire guys it's gonna come down to the wire uh, we're gonna have to use the evolve knight here i gotta pray that he's gonna do enough damage only one hit we can only allow one hit here we only allow one hit that's really good okay so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go inferno dragon up in the middle here and we are going to use minions we're going to use the balloon as well here. And I think we have to maybe try and fireball cycle him. I've got to plop a berry down to help on defense too. Uh, so we're going to need to, we're going to need one more. We just need one. We just need to play defense and get another fireball. That's all we need to do. We've got the snowball to help out. He uses the lightning. That's not going to do enough though. And we are going to be able to seal the victory with a fireball here. That was an insane game against the hard counter. Um, well, let me know if you think it's a hard counter in the chat. Cause that is a really hard matchup, but we managed to take a splendid W. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this beautiful deck and have a great rest of your day.